Honest Tank Reviews, take one, Cromwell B. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And it's been a while since I've uploaded some content, and so I figured I would get into showing you some of the new acquisitions that I've gained in World of Tanks to so you guys can pretty much just catch up and uh, see where we're at. And so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna start down bottom tier, work my way up. Um, and as you can see, I've gotten rid of a few low tier tanks. Um, the fact that you can only sell four tanks a day is kind of ridiculous, but um, we've gotten rid of some low four tier stuff. Uh, we've also picked up some high tier stuff. And uh, what I mean by that is, as you can see, I have actually gotten all the chapters complete. Uh, I did cheat a little bit. Um, I was stagnating around the Space Marines chapter. Um, Thank you, phone. I was stagnating around the Space Marines chapter, honor and courage, but I did get it done. But then I realized the Reddens go faster was just getting, was just draining the life out of me. And so I decided to spend a little bit of gold and then just finish it off. But um, here's the acquisition, one of the new acquisitions. I was two tokens just shy, two, two tokens shy of getting me the Cobra, which is the one tank I actually just wanted this season. I didn't want to get the run. I didn't want to get the Shafatur. Object 777 has just been vile, apparently. It, it's just horrible and junk and useless. I don't want to get Soviet. I already have the AE Phase 1, so I realized, well, the one thing I know now is the Kuhnitzpanzer. So I snagged me a Kuhnitzpanzer. I still have 10 tokens left over to roll over for next season, which will be more than enough to get me the uh, Cobra. So there's that. Um, and so yeah, we've got the Kunitz Panzer in our in our garage, in our garage. Um, we've also now got the Charioteer, as you can see. We have um, moved on past its predecessor. So we, we, we've moved on past. So it, it, you know, we, we've moved on past the Challenger, and we've moved on past the Achilles. We now have the Charioteer. Um, and as you can see, we're still using this stock horrible 20 pounder gun. Um, I can understand why Wargaming have added certain fake guns, or guns that just never existed on, on certain tanks, mostly to keep them competitive, but then again, you added auto loaders, so that kind of puts a great big thumb in the eye to all of that, then doesn't it, Wargaming? Um, as you can tell, I'm not happy with, with auto loaders. Um, but then anyway, we, so we've got the 105, which is this end tier gun. Um, hmm. Just hmm, that pen for that tier of gun in this tier of tank is just no way not adequate. No way not adequate. War gaming. No way not adequate. So, and now we've also got the Bashelion baguette thrower. Um, reason being, it's medium, it's fast, and it's a, a, a little auto loader. Um, yeah, the phrase can't beat and join them. Well, I got it because it was on sale, and most importantly, um, I'm trying to get what, the medium mission ram them done, and I figured I'll go with a fast tank. Hence, that's why I also picked up the Cromwell B. It was on clearance, pretty much clearance sale. I mean, I got it for like eight eight pounds and some change with a coupon, um, and so it's a fast little zippy thing. The gun is useless. Don't even bother trying to use it as an actual tank tank. I just use it as a ramming monster uh, especially if you're top tier just ram the sons of guns seriously just just this thing gets up to 60 something I, I, i've gotten this thing up to 72 kilometers per hour with a previous build where i had grommets on the tracks 72 kilometers per hour i literally was leaving tier 4 tier 5 light tanks in the dust and getting to positions where the enemy just was not expecting me, and I'm, I, I sincerely mean that, they just was not expecting me to be there, and um, yeah, it was some interesting fun, I uh, I really want to get the um, secondary loadout, in fact, you know what, I'm going to, so there, now we can do the secondary loadout system, uh, in fact, can I get, I can, I can go and get, do I want whole traverse, Uh, I'll leave that for a later decision. 
There we go. No, oh, we won't do a full battle. Okay, so then now I can actually build two types of Cromwell, which is always good. So my um, second Cromwell is actually going to lose the vents and pick up the browsers so you guys can see. I'll, I'll do a video where you can see the, the difference between the two. And um, yeah, I majority don't even bother. Let's, let's actually take a little bit of HE because I've got the speed. I tend to just flank, and that way I don't. It's not that I don't stand my ground. I do. It has to do with the fact that sometimes it's just not really worth standing your ground against certain tanks um, especially if you know that they're going to um, see now I want to go cheap and get the, the, the 5k but I won't I'll pay out and get the 2 the 20 so there we go so literally this tank is all about a 56.2 degree on the gun traverse and, and oh gosh where is it let's take a look at the mobility 61 degrees on that traverse. <laughs> 69 kilometers per hour. <laughs> and I haven't even decided to put a bond turbo or anything in this thing yet. Um, let's see what other new acquisitions apart from the Cromwell, uh, the the Cromwell being the chariots here. Because uh, we've got the 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 Bichelli on. Um, I think that's it for now. Everything else I've just been slowly chipping away. Oh, uh, we got the 8.8 um, .8 ti uh, Yag Tiger as well. Um, it was bugging me. I've always wanted it. So I said, sod it, let's just get it. And so I got it. And here it is. I'm getting it in, in order to, to get myself practiced up for when I get to the Yag Panther. Once I've, my Yag Panther's done and mastered and I've got the 30. And then it leads into the Yag Tiger, which then leads into E100. It's to get me into the mindset of not having a turret again. Um, because I keep playing my turretless tank destroyers. And I notice that when I go back into something like a Hellcat, um, I'm just not thinking the same way, if that makes sense. I'm just, I'm just not thinking in the same way. So let's drop everything below tier 4. This tier 5 and up is my favourite. Uh, what else? Just, just gonna, gonna go a quick thumb through. Um, that is pretty much it for new aqua. Oh, we've got this uh, Swedish thing here. Um, not superly eh about it. It's tier five, so like, who the hell cares? Which then leads into the boogie, the boogie knights, which leads into the CS. 44, which leads into the CS, 53, into the 59, into the 63. Um, medium sniper, sniper tank. In other words, it's their, their way of saying, uh, crappy armor, no mobility, shitty gun, good luck. Or, or we just didn't bother to put any, any thought or care into the tank. So, yeah, have at it. That That's pretty much to summarize it for you. Um, so, yeah, that, that will pretty much summarize it up for you. Every time. See, case in point, if, if, if you, <laughs> you want to know how I know that, that they don't have a clue, they have the Cromwell B marked as a sniper medium tank, yet its gun is absolutely fucking atrocious. 2.6 second aim time, 3.4 dispersion, absolutely fucking atrocious. The shell never goes anywhere the hell you want to aim it, um, even with soft stats. So, yeah. I mean, this is this is my turbo build, um, and the reason why I went with um, again why I went with uh, <laughs> medium spore liner is so I can re get more ram damage out. I legit just want to turn this thing into a ramming monster, and so that that is solely it. Is its its sole job is just a ram. I, I you'll see what I'm talking about. So let's get into some gameplay, shall we? That's what you're here for. So, uh, yeah, let's uh, notice no, no equipment, and the crew is not super, super. See, this is another thing I want to point out. I'm not calling out any YouTubers in particular, okay? 
because I, I love skills. Skills is one of my favourite YouTubers that I love to watch about World of Tanks, especially like oddball high tier tanks that you like. The IS-3A can't fucking stand that tank. To me, it's just the next P Pinata. When I see one, you know, nine times out of ten, it's at long distance from my tank destroyer. So I'm just like, okay, hom nom 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 nom. You know, when I'm in my heavies, I'm just like, okay, aim, aim for the pike nose, bob bob bob, hom nom nom nom. So I'm not really worried about it. It's just the fact that why would Wargaming make a classic tank like the IS-3 and turn it into an auto loader? It makes no bloody sense. But I don't work for Wargaming. I don't want to work for Wargaming. Um, I want nothing to do with Wargaming, to be honest with you, apart from the game. So. But they, as you can see, the crew is only on their fourth tier of skill, and it's only at 50%. So it's not like my crew is like uber duper 100%, like like 11 skills maxed out. Okay, they're they're not 11 skill maxed out uber duper super trooper uh, 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 crew. Not even on my my charioteer. These guys were from one of my previous tank destroyers that I legit just moved up. Uh, one second, guys. I gotta close the window. We got a bit, and I am back. Sorry about that, folks. So as I was saying, so my crew skills are not, you know, the best on my tank. Same as my Bichelion, you know. These guys are from my Revelerice. So, you know, so and, um, here you go. This is what my Revelerice, you yeah? know. They're on their second tier of skill, third tier of skill. So, and then this is my FTL. See? I reuse the same crew. Uh, for all three medium tanks, there's no point in having three separate medium tank crews. You might just have the one and rotate them around. Um, especially if you're just trying to power level the crew, because um, that's three times twos right there. Um, just in there. If it's on the weekend events like like they're doing at like the Iron Train event or whatever it is, you know it's all times three, times four, times five. You know you will power through certain like low tier skills like one and two, levels one and two, like that. Um, so yeah, so my Cromwell. Crom Crom and the Crum well crew. Let's get into that battle, shall we? Uh, so uh, no, no, I'm not going to add any any bonds or anything. So it's just literally just a premium. Uh, yes, I am running a premium account. You kind of have to in this day and age, especially with the majority of um, players that are lacking in intelligence. Is a nice way of putting it. Um, when it comes to certain tactics like oh, I've just seen the fact that I've got an enemy heavy tank in front of me and Two tank destroyers on my team have come up to it from behind I'm still just gonna sit here and do nothing while they they dog it out with a tank that they can barely penetrate But I can penetrate every day of the week. Oh, 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 they've got it down to a sliver here Let me roll forward boop my kill ha 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 because again the majority of little mini missions is kill X amount of tanks Kill, yeah, uh, or do X amount of critical damage. Okay, fine. That, that, that right there screams getting an artillery. Getting an artillery. And this is another thing. The um, end when uh, the end credit screams when you're playing an artillery piece, ironically, British self propelled gun, FE3 or 4, um, only tells you that, you hit, that you've been hitting the tracks. It doesn't tell you if you've actually done any kind of damage. Okay, so we're, we're, we've gone with our. Yeah, we've gone with our ramming. Our, our speed and ramming uh, variant, okay? And you're gonna see why. And uh, let me just turn up the sounds real quick. No, I don't want to do that. Let me just. Settings. Sound. Let's get this show on the road. It is 59.16. And now look at me. I'm actually catching up to him. Now he started off some before I did too, so. so I just spotted two tanks. <laughs> I just spotted two. How is this a sniper? If I can't even penetrate. Enemy that hit. big bugger. So when you 
return of Crumb will be in, into enemy armor is damaged. See, Th this, that's the problem. Th We're look, look at the blow. name time on that. Turn around and say to me how this is a sniper tech when it takes 15 years, 5 weeks, 6 months, 9 days, and 15 bajillion, bajillion, bajillion other years just to get the fucking pop. Now I would like to ram maybe that 59.16 but it's not going to happen. See, ramming can be fun if you know what you're doing. See, the 5916 is trying to cross the spot. He's doing a good job. We just lost our 5916. Okay, Hellcat's trying to come up from the bottom. Oh, God. I'll give, it to, give those TDs a good, a good count of the back there. Camo's pretty impressive. Okay. So the problem is we can't get too close otherwise the top two is going to cross the spots. Same as um, the others. So what I will do. Bouncing off the arse armor. Enemy armor is hit. One of our tracks is damaged. Oh, 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 face top. Face top. Enemy is hit. Hello, Rack hit. Um. Ah! Little pen! Okay, Tog's dead. Okay, so that P43 is gonna hug. <laughs> Who needs a gun? Just ram, motherfuckers. <laughs> oh, you got to take a little bit of joy in, uh, in, in the game. And <laughs> Cromwell B is definitely one of those tanks that if you know what you're doing, and you genuinely want to have fun. Oh, tank. See? Explain to me how this is a sniper gun. I'm not even fully finished aiming in. See? And the shell literally streams up or under. It, GG. We won the battle and we survived. We actually won the game. Because <laughs> we won it. <laughs> on my first try too excellent excellent and it's recorded excellent excellent it's made my that's made my morning that has that's made my morning a oh, nice cup of french roast from coffeebrandcoffee.com not sponsored but uh, thank you jeremy from the quartering um so let's just hit that hit this open events oh look at that 
there we go we finally got it nicely done I'm happy with that I really am so we can now go to the campaigns take a look at the T-55A and like I said we're <laughs> we're literally on the very last one for the artillery I know everyone's like ah sky cancer yeah sky cancer I, and in all truth truth be told in order to get the majority of these done don't try and do it in tier, tier 5, tier 6, like everyone, all the YouTube video guides and whatnot. Actually, I've, yeah, I've done the majority of this in tier 7, 8, and 9s. Because um, it's all like, get 60 seconds worth of splash. Well, that's not going to happen with a low tier tank, with a low tier artillery piece. It's only going to happen with a high tier artillery piece. But uh, let's take a look at our medium tanks right now. Um, so this one is set an enemy on fire, same tier or higher on fire. Okay. Alright. Alright. So now we're going to have to learn where the petrol tanks are of uh, enemy vehicles. Now, missions like these, um, to me, kind of in, in many retrospects, force players to download like those hit skins and stuff that you can put on tanks. It's like shoot here for ammo rack, shoot here for gunner, shoot here, shoot, you know, and and. If that's the case, then fine. If that if that if that's what you need to do, then fine. I don't really. Case in point, if the engine's in the arse of the tank, you know, shoot the arse of the tank. High chance you're gonna either destroy the engine or rupture the fuel tank or cause the fuel tank to to, to catch on fire. You know, it's just common sense. Um, fires are the most common thing that happen. Well, transmission breakdowns. Uh, clogged air filters and um, it, it's it, like I said it's, it's drivetrain mechanical failures that nine times out of ten which what cause which which is what causes uh, tanks to uh, be um, knocked out of commission it's very rare that it's a crew related a crew injury related issue but um yeah so yeah I've got to go back to um, the uh, T28 and figure out what ones have got bonds on them and yoink the bonds back. I think it's the tank destroyer. No, it's my artilleries. Ah, it's these two. Okay, so I can easily just redo those and get those bonds back. Excellent. But where we're at on the T55A is we're one away on artillery. Um, we're not that far off. With, uh, we're just at the halfway mark um, with uh, tank destroyers. We've only got three done so far in the heavies, um, and we're, f I mean, take a look, we're four away from mediums. Light tanks um, are the bane of my existence right now. This one's shooting them in the tracks, isn't it? Yeah, immobilize three, three enemy vehicles. Um, so that would be fun to, fun to try at least. So that was that one. So you saw the, the grommet build. You saw the, how fast I could get up onto that hill. Um, so that was actually pretty cool. So, and our next build is going to be, where is it, come on, come on, this is the problem with, with mod packs and, and things that Wargaming put in, did I put the grommet on, on both, oh, of course, now my phone's going off, Sorry about that. the one time I decided to just, you know, Messages. Oh, so yeah, I think I kind of did build, have the same build twice. Awkward. Okay, so <laughs> let's put the optics on this one then. That way we can get rid of the grousers on that. Go with that build. Huh. So no, it's... I always thought the equipment changed. Son of a monkey. Alright, so now we've got uh, optics, which bumps our rear range to 423, which isn't that bad um, for pseudo open maps. A lot of people would be swapping it out for to make the gun better. There's no point in trying to make a, a, a crappy gun mediocre. Um, case in point, it's really not worth it. 
your best bet is to work on making something else that's already good better case in point the 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 Borask. you're better off making this better um, so yeah that, that pretty much summarizes it what's its he pen uh, 53 oh that's not that Hmm, 53 mil will barely get through certain artillery at this tier. Um, and its shell velocity is ridiculously low. Not for that kind of pen. Uh, not for that kind of alpha, sorry. No, I'd rather go with, with this. Alright, so we saw the Cromwell B do its thing. So um, we're now going to see the Bachelion Barasque, or, or Baguette Thrower, as I call it, do its thing. I'm even taking my watch, my, my smart watch off for this. Oh, now you know, you know, everything means well. All right, so this is a brawling map. Um, a lot of people are like, no, it's not. Actually, it is. Um, reason being is you're going to brawl over here. You're going to brawl over here. You're going to brawl over here. Um, there's very, you're very limited in your flanking um, abilities. I like to go uh, here and try and um, spot up some early heavies. Move them and um, go from there. So let me just turn the game a wee bit. There we go. Ship or she's. So we've got an E75 off the words. This is definitely a tier 9 game. Definitely a tier 9 game. So I'm not going to bother with the two key just yet. Whee! Um, and so what I'm going to do, see this little bush? The bush? I'm going to go to the Z bush. And, okay, so there's a cobra. Now notice how I'm not touching the fences. There's a reason why I'm not touching the fences. And again, I'm going to wait here. I don't have the gun depression. Sorry, the gun elevator. Aha! Uh -huh. Okay, so we've got... I'm going to force a reload. I've got no armor, he's got a good gun. And there's a lot of tank destroyers back there, so I don't know on, on this. So I don't, I mean, there's the Conways, the Conways up there too, so. My case in point is I don't know where they are, so. No, there's, there's no crime in playing it safe. Now, it, I can guarantee you, yeah, he's gonna be looking this direction. So let's knock over a few things, confuse him a little bit. Okay, so 75 is getting smacked from someone. And that's good. That is good. That is good. Okay, so we could actually try and flank up from here. Okay, there's a young tiger. That's good. Okay, so I'll spot the WZ. I've been lit. Yes, he need then. Why are you guys backing off? Yeah, you got a great big fucking dirt hill in the way. Why the fuck are you backing off? Why are you backing off? Why is the object? What is? What is going on? Yeah, okay. Thanks, dickhead! You fucking pleb! Oh, let me just burn you! I wanted to kill you! You weren't gonna fucking kill it anyway, you spaz! There was absolutely no fucking way you were going to kill that in tank, you idiot. 
You're a fucking T-54 Mod 1. Best case scenario, you're going to tiggle it. Gun. Gun. G gun! Oh my god. This fucking gun, mate. This is why I'm not liking this tank. It has got bugger all for depression or elevation. And I mean that. Like, absolutely fucking nothing. I'm going to re reload. Let them know I'm reloading. Alright, so we've got a kill. Poor objects trying to take on a Yag Tiger with a backup of a Conway. He's going to learn the hard way, that that's just not going to happen. Oh, he killed the Yag Tiger. Okay. But it cost him his life. Oh, of course. Hello, thank you, Twaticus. I'm legit trying to fucking move. Sure would be nice if our hit point, high hit point, high armoured friends would actually fucking roll forward. Our object gets fucking deleted. T28's on fire. Yeah, see. Tank's known for its speed and mobility and agility. Blah, blah, blah. Can't fucking climb up a hill, can it? See? And it's got fuck all to do. It has no kind of gun depression whatsoever. Right, so we're going to come down, hopefully. Been spotted. Three, two, one. No? No E50? Well... Okay, make it look like I'm coming around. Yeah, so I've got no gun depression whatsoever. Yeah, see, you got ammo racked, you little shit. Good. Yeah, that light tank's just gonna keep fucking lighting me up. The Emil smart. Bear in mind, I did say if, <laughs> and the Conqueror is all by himself. Where the fuck is Ajasaur? Seriously, where the hell is Ajasaur? Yeah, I don't care. Exactly. Where the hell is Ajasaur? Exactly. Back there, picking his nose, doing nothing. Yeah, get raped, you fool. This is what happens when everyone's too busy going. I don't want really to get my paint scratched. The enemy are like, fuck it, if they, if they don't want, if they're going to give us map control. You've got to stop giving the enemy map control. Seriously, guys, you've got to stop. Okay? That is one of the biggest problems that players that are playing World of Tanks today don't seem to understand is map control. Okay? I, I've seen so many players in crappy tanks like the M3 Lee or, or, or the Stug, you know, the Stug G or whatever, decimate enemies and win the game because of map control, because of map awareness, because, because just because they know what the f they're doing, you know, and 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 that's a good thing. But this is the thing I'm talking about, Wargaming. Too many bloody tank destroyers. Too many. This is this is an entire fucking battalion right here. Too bloody many. Cap it at three. Three heavy. Three medium. Three TD. Three light. Three arty. Cap it at three. You don't need a hundred thousand of them. Okay, I'm sorry, but you don't. And when you do sales, like oh, get this. Get get you know get for case in point. There's a sale for the freaking uh, baguette thrower and. The IS, the, 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 the ISU 152K and, and stuff and whatnot. You really think that's not going to influence your matchmaker, you bloody idiots? What kind of level of stupidity are you at? Of course, fucking of course, it's going to affect your fucking matchmaker, you pleb.
ingredient. Thank you, phone. Uh -huh -huh -huh. So we're gonna throw off a couple of. Okay, one hit, one didn't. Ah, we have another Borosk. So that's another thing. Why is it that, that spotting comes from the front wheels and not the... Uh, um, commander's viewport like it should if the commander's viewport is blocked you should not be able to fucking see a tank end of yeah he's gonna go for our light tank he's gonna go for our even 90 come on guys Fuck off, Ashdron. Don't give a shit. You what, mate? Ass hats, fuck it. Sorry you had to see that guys, but sometimes you have to just call idiots idiots. In this case a spaz. Uh, so anyway, that's the Bratask, it's it's a pain in the ass, it has no gun elevation, fuck all gun depression, um, takes like fifteen years to turn, even with a bloody like over a hundred percent crew, it, it it's got a steep learning curve like you're going uphill in the snow with a boner, both ways. Um, so yeah, um, I wouldn't, I wouldn't easily, like, suggest that you, you get it and have it kind of thing. Alright, so, the one thing I have noticed about all of my, um, tank destroyer crew is, in fact, I'm going to go to my scorpion real quick, is <laughs> none of them have repair crews, <laughs> none of them have repair skills. <laughs> I, I legit just, real, I, I legit realized that. None of them have repair skills. Um, that's the one skill that I, I, I want to give them. I just have not had time to give them. <laughs> so, once these uh, uh, tier skills are finished, I'm going to, to give them repairs. So, yes. Uh, everyone, a lot of people, especially in my live streams, keep asking me, why don't any of my German tank destroyer crews have repairs? I'm like, oh, <laughs> it's just... It's one of those skills that you know you should have. You just don't bother putting it in because it's more of a of a of a eh, it is what it is. You know. Case in point. I mean, even my medium tanks don't have repairs. I mean, my commander has, but no one else does. See, because it's just eh. Uh, Coolant Panzer. There you go. <laughs> no, no repairs. Um, there you go. Let's let's get a Coolant Panzer game in. Because you guys wanted to, want to, should see one. Alright, so we're going to get a Kunitz Panzer game in. And uh, then we'll end the video with a Jagtiger game. So yeah, the, 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 Borask, Borask, the, the Baguette Chucker. There you go, I'm just going to call it the Baguette Chucker. Um, the Baguette Chucker t has a bit of a steep learning curve. Um, unlike things like the Conway um, and the Berlin, as you saw the Cromwell Berlin. I'm so glad I got that Ram, that uh, Ram. Uh, kill uh, in this video to get that mission complete. Now I've just got to try and set an enemy tank on fire and if any tank's going to do it, it will be the Kunitzpanzer um, because it does get sniper mode 
or siege mode, very similar to the Swedish tanks. Um, there are times when I really wish that the, the, the logo that appears there would be like a lot more clearer, but it's not, unfortunately, which sucks. Uh, <laughs> and I, I, I legit mean that, it, it absolutely sucks that it's not clearer. And what I mean by that is, um, you, you'll see what I mean. When I, when I go into sniper mode, uh, I mean, yes, I know that the, 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 the crosshair looks like it changes, but when you're in the heat of battle, it's those minor things that you're not really focused on paying attention on, if that makes sense. And for me, I am more focused on the target I'm trying to hit. Case in point, uh, do I really want to risk it for the biscuit? Yes, I do. I'm going to risk it for the biscuit. Okay, so you hit X, one and a half seconds, which seems like forever, and see, now you, you, your crosshairs have changed. Yeah, see? Spotted immediately, ammo rack is hit because this thing is apparently made of fucking ammo racks. Don't you know? This is why 9 times out of 10, I don't even bother with this siege mode thingy. I really don't. If you want to get up there, T-30, you can get up there. You too, Conway, you want to get up there? Go, go for it, mate. Go! Be my guest! Be my fucking guest! It's all yours. If you want it, it's all yours. I got early spot, early damage in. So, and I did a critical damage to that E75. I was aiming for his, trying to get his fuel tank, but, you know, got nothing. It's crest, of course, you can't crest this hill, because the other fucking hill's been raised higher. Well, we've got a French fa 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 all the way out there. And of course, to kill the Fosh, you got to aim for that stupid antenna of his. Yeah, we've just lost a Conway. Yeah. Would be nice. Oh, good hit. E75. Yeah, I can't crest this ridge correctly. Plus, there's that Fosh staring. See, E70. E no, T30's found his line. Come on. ISM doesn't want to get clipped out by that Fosh again. Okay, knock this tree down real quick. Get their attention. So now they're, they're super focused on it. Okay, there's the Soviet other gift reward douchebag tank. The one that everyone absolutely fucking hates. I'm trying to nudge this up a little bit, and I do not have the power to weight ratio to do that. We got a fucking light tank, lighting this all up like Christmas, while our fucking Bichelion is just sitting there going, what do we do? You fucking hunt it down, you twat. It's your job. So hunt the fucking thing down. Can't, oh, for fuck! Again, can never get the fucking gun de depression at elevation anymore. It's like wargaming have purposely made all the maps fucking like you want to hate them. Like you sincerely, a hundred percent, want to just fucking hate these goddamn maps. It's like, oh, that was the perfect undulation for like ninety percent of our tanks. Let's fucking modify it so everyone fucking hates it now. Herp, 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 herp. It's like, do you not understand that if you constantly keep fucking with what works, people are just going to fucking quit? Case in point, look at Escape from Tarkov. Okay? They kept fucking around and fucking around and fucking around saying, well, that's not exactly what we wanted. We now want this instead. We now want that instead. We now want this and we want that and we want this and we want that. Okay, yeah, okay, great. You want to put 180 pounds of shit in a fucking eight pound bag. Great. You do that. Of course, yeah. Fucking light tank spots me for all these fucking trees like that. 
Do I even have a camo fucking rating at this point? To be honest with you. Do I? Do I, Wargaming? Fucking do I! Because I don't fucking know, to be honest with you, anymore. I haven't got a fucking clue what you hats have done to camo ratings and, and other factors anymore to the point where I just, I don't care anymore. You know, I genuinely just don't care. See? There's nothing I can do. I've got no fucking support. None. Absolutely none. Because that LT is just going to keep lighting everyone up. Because our fucking light tank was an utter fucking fruitcake. And got fucking eviscerated. There needs to be some sort of level of skill based matchmaker. I'm sorry. But there does. Especially for such critical fucking team roles. Such as light tanks and artillery. Otherwise, what the fuck is the goddamn point? I'm not even joking. What is the fucking point? Good shot, tra charioteer. Of course, my shot fucking went nowhere. in siege mode. Fuck siege mode. That hit. Yeah, I'm hitting. It's probably the fosh that's on the cap. Got no fucking shot. Yep, no fucking point. Sorry, but the 777 is the most useless fucking tank. It's useless. It's meant for side scraping. And that's its only thing it's meant for, is side scraping. It's literally, literally just a cut and paste of a fucking KV-5, only they've tweaked a few little th stats on it. Everything else is... The gun is useless. Don't don't even bother. Seriously, don't even bother. So, anyway. Like I said, uh, Kurnitz Panzer... The map can make or break the tank end of if you get a good map that you know very very well it will make or break the tank um that, that but then that could be said of any tank um in question and so yeah so there's the baguette 
the Crumble B and um, oh wait the Act Tiger. You said I wanted to show you guys the Act Tiger. So not oh, Act Tiger, sorry. Tiger Tiger. Okay, so yeah, this crew is from my Yak Panther Two, and for some reason my Waffen Traeger and my Scorpion G. Wow. Hmm. <laughs> That's a licorice all sorts right there. I'll tell you what. Alright, Yak Panther only has one loader, doesn't it? Yeah, that's why. That's why. Only has one loader. And for some reason, they've given two loaders to the Yak Tiger. I don't know why. Um, again, Wargaming seriously needs to stop this shit of adding premium tanks in to help, quote-unquote, level your crew when it's either missing a crew slot or it has an additional crew slot. That is not leveling a crew, is it? When I have to take crew from three separate fucking tank destroyers to fulfill one tank's role that is asinine because once this tank gets knocked out yeah I can't use my Waffentrager or my Jagdpanther or even my Scorp G so that's basically three tanks four tanks in essence out of action that's the sort of shit that needs to fucking like get sorted and again Wargaming don't know what the fuck they're doing yet yeah, if, if you look but see, that being said, if you actually look at what they're doing with World of Warships, it's like, this is from the same game developer, yet one game's crew system is vastly superior, where it's like, role-specific skills, and yet you go to World of Tanks, their baby, the one that started it all, and nothing has changed. You've up, you've you've changed the graphics engine, yay. You've changed textures, yay. You've added more broken bullshit tanks, <gasps> yay. But what's the one thing that is quite literally the backbone of your game? Uh, the tanks and what? The crew. Give that man a cookie. And yet you have not done anything for the crew. I remember you tried years ago and I mean years ago you tried to come up with a new crew system and it was a fucking failure a monumental failure and you just like gave up was your fuck up that bad that you literally just gave up you just quit you gave the fuck up. You sucked that bad that Henry Hoover and 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 John Dyson looked at you and said, "We should build a we should build a vacuum cleaner on how bad you sucked." Seriously, you give up. You don't stand your ground. You don't say to yourself, "You know what? Maybe maybe we should listen to the feedback of what our our, our player base is saying," and actually just for once in our sad fucking life not only listen but actually do something but no you then abandon the project completely and you go on to add auto loaders when a lot of players said please for the love of fucking Christ Lord Almighty stop adding auto loaders so you add an entire nation full of auto loaders not just one but three that is the complete opposite of please stop isn't it wargaming if please and stop is you know fucking please and stop I have no idea what it means in Belarusian Belarusian in Dave language there you go Sure would be nice if you asked I was shot at my target. Thank you.
Ash hat, roll forward. There's only so much I can fucking do. I really fucking need you to roll forward. Please roll forward. Yeah, I'm, uh, there's nothing I can do. Oh, I'm dead, yeah. Nothing I can fucking do. Again, fucked over because teammates do not want to do their job. This is why a lot of players are specifically trying to find tanks that do not rely on others. So, don't even bother with tank destroyers. Don't even bother with the artillery. Um, fuck, don't even bother with certain heavy tanks. Just don't bother. Just just stick with medium tanks because they don't rely. They they don't need to rely on absolutely fucking anyone. Okay, you can you can sort out a medium tank to to spot like a fucking uh, here you go. I'll, I'll I'll prove it. Okay, this is why medium tanks don't need anything. Ready? Okay, this is my tier ten. Okay, with four hundred and eighty six view range, more than adequate for a tier ten game. Excuse me. My tier five. Okay, four hundred and forty seven, more than adequate for a a, uh, a tier five game. And my crew's not even a hundred percent. Are you starting to get, are you starting to pick up what I'm putting down? You do not need to rely on anyone in a medium tank. This is why a lot of play, a lot of players are, are saying fuck you all war gaming, fuck you and your bullshit. It's it's a teamwork fucking game when you when you don't understand your fucking player base whatsoever, especially on the North American server, which where this is, okay? It's like seriously Whoever is in charge of the North American server, you need to be fired. And I mean that. You need to be fired. And before you're fired, you need to be smacked in the face with a fucking keyboard. Full on, Allah wanted. Chris Pratt style, just whack right across the face, then kicked off the roof of the building. Spartan style. Because it's clear that you do not understand your any of your player base. Because there is no fucking teamwork whatsoever anywhere in the North American servers. None. Zip. Zero. Nada. None. Fucking none. As you can see. You, you've literally seen these games. My poor Koenig's ban Panzer ended up spending 90% of the match running away. Because idiot lemmings going <laughs> through the fucking forest, realizing that one side is losing and not going, oh, mate, wait, maybe we should go back and help. Just fucking maybe. Tards. Anyway, guys, enough with the rants and the raves. That's what's been added to the tank lineup, and I'll see you all on Twitch later. Peace.